Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 27th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2, The Bad Batch, and more, a lot of Star Wars fans have truly been looking forward to what Dave Filoni, Jon Favreau, George Lucas have all in store for the future of the Star Wars universe ahead and more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So we're now in a very interesting phase of the Star Wars universe, given that, of course, we have John, George, and Dave working together as a trio, if you will, to really implement Star Wars in the best way possible by incorporating Star Wars legends with the new Star Wars material, as well as making new stories of their own. We're seeing a prime example of this in the Book of Boba Fett, of how they're going to be combining legends with the new content, and how it's really going to all interconnect with The Mandalorian Season 3, the Ahsoka Tano series later down the road, and more TV shows to arrive and be announced at Star Wars Celebration next year. So, with that being said, we already know that Disney CEO Bob Chapek has been pretty much working around the clock to allowing Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni doing their own thing with Star Wars, while Kathleen Kennedy is still very much hard at work on the Acolyte TV series that's really been having a lot of issues for the past number of months now, and they're still trying to get that ball rolling with that show for pre-production to begin, or should I say end, rolling into principal photography by April of 2022. Now, with that being said, we already know that Disney Star Wars has had a very tough road before in the past, and that's what George, John, and Dave are trying to fix. They want to make it a more successful stream of Star Wars TV shows on the streaming platform. So, moving beyond all of this, all right, so now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are busy with their new Star Wars TV shows for Disney+, Plus and getting ready to announce new ones at Star Wars Celebration of 22, it's described that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have been making big changes to the brand behind the scenes. Now, further, it's noted that Disney CEO Bob Chapek has been approving some new changes to the Star Wars world as well. It's described, however, that recently Disney CEO Bob Chapek recently canceled a series of three Star Wars movies that were still on the roster of the Star Wars roadmap and never officially canceled it as of yet. These new movies involved the Ryan Johnson Star Wars trilogy of movies that were recently officially canceled by Disney CEO Bob Chapek. Further, it's noted that this has been an ongoing process between Chapek and the board members over at Disney that were at one point in time fighting for Ryan Johnson's movies to stay on the roadmap for an extended amount of time until they figured things out. Essentially, the Ryan Johnson trilogy was in limbo for many years, but never officially got canceled by Disney until just recently by Bob Chapek in order to make room for another brand new trilogy that will be announced at Star Wars Celebration next year. Now, let me just stop right here for a second. This actually makes a lot more sense. We already know that Ryan's trilogy was never being talked about, Disney was never coming forward and talking about release dates or talking about Ryan Johnson's progress on those new Star Wars movies. And mind you also, Ryan Johnson himself was keeping himself very quiet over these new Star Wars films. He wasn't really talking about them on Twitter throughout all of 2020 and 2021. We heard nothing about it. And now it's really all coming together, the fact that Bob Chapek thankfully finally canned those projects and is leaving them behind to make room for three other Star Wars movies as well as another Star Wars trilogy on top of that. We'll get into that a little bit later. Essentially, what Disney wants to do is that they really want to make sure that the Star Wars movies are going to thrive and be very successful and very well received and really nothing like the sequel trilogy movies where it caused a great divide among the fans. They don't want to see anything like that again. So moving beyond this, the Ryan Johnson trilogy films were going to consist of a series of movies that would steer completely away from the Jedi and lightsaber combat, as well as jumping ahead in time to an era where the Force does not exist and a new power comes to light called the Vitality. This was described to be the evolution or the rebirth of the Force through Ryan Johnson's creativity. 
The entire Star Wars trilogy was set to take place in a brand new galaxy for the Star Wars universe that would have caused great backlash for sure by the fans, as Ryan Johnson was aiming to make this a completely different Star Wars story for the fans. Bob Chapek knew these films would be a disaster and recently finally got himself to canceling the new Star Wars films. However, Disney is still trying to keep this decision a low-key secret without making an official announcement until they reveal their plans at celebration for their new trilogy of movies that will focus on a time in between the High Republic and the Old Republic era, as well as another trilogy that's in the works that will continue the Skywalker saga that will be announced at 2023's celebration. Director Ryan Johnson is described to be very upset over this decision, however, as of late, Kathleen Kennedy recently approached Ryan Johnson to direct around three episodes of the Acolyte series, given that it will be a total of 12 episodes so far. Kennedy wants to give Ryan Johnson another shot at Star Wars, at least with a Star Wars TV series. Given that his movies are now completely cancelled and being covered up by Disney, Kathleen Kennedy, however, is still trying to get Ryan Johnson's movies back on track and begging the higher-ups over at Disney to bring them back into the roster. Now, once again, this is typical Kathleen Kennedy behavior, right? We already we already know that Kathleen Kennedy has been trying to really kind of keep a lot of the projects that she greenlit alive and well. Let's not forget that it was Kathleen Kennedy who greenlit those projects of Ryan Johnson's before The Last Jedi even released. You guys may very well recall. We'll go back to November of 2017 is when the new trilogy by Ryan Johnson was announced by Bob Iger. All right, that's when Bob Iger announced it. That's when people were getting very excited about The Last Jedi because they were like, well, if this director and writer is getting his own trilogy, The Last Jedi's got to be amazing, right? And that's what really, I think, ramped up the excitement for The Last Jedi all the more so, is that Disney's overconfidence in Ryan Johnson by allowing him to get his own trilogy kind of misled the fans into believing that Ryan Johnson must be some kind of real unknown talent that has some beyond capability of working with Star Wars and doing things beyond expectations. And well, it was beyond expectations, but it wasn't for the best, it was actually for the worst. Now, obviously, this is another Kathleen Kennedy plan. She wants to bring him into the Acolyte TV series for a total of three episodes so far, given that these new shows like, of course, The Acolyte and other TV shows that are out there. But The Acolyte TV show is the one show that Kathleen Kennedy has full creative power over, and that spells a recipe for disaster, I believe at least. When you have somebody like Kennedy not only having a lot of creative power, but also having a lot of power over the marketing of that show, I just don't see it being a success. Again, who am I to judge? I have yet to have seen a shred of footage. And we won't see a shred of footage until holiday of 2023. You know, that's going to be a very, uh, 2022 I should say. Now, in 2023, we're going to see the Acolyte TV series if all goes well and if everything stays on track. But we're going to get be able to get a little teaser of it by the end of next year because that's their overall plan. They want to unveil a lot of their new Star Wars TV shows around the holiday of 2022. We're talking about the second phase of the Star Wars TV shows. So, overall guys, I think that we're really in for quite an amazing experience, besides, of course, what's going on with Kathleen Kennedy and more. So yeah, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me, let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.